Products in this video were provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again. So in this video, I'm going to help you guys set up Streamlabs OBS for recording. Now, recording your gameplay, whatever, and then when you're done, doing your editing and uploading. In another video, I'm going to help you guys set it up for streaming. So step by step. Alright, I'm making this video because it's taking me forever to get a good stream, to get a good recording. And, you know, I've asked for help and nobody's been able to help me. And then one day I just sat down, I did three hours of trying to figure it out forever, and I finally got great settings for my machine. I'm going to go ahead and list uh, my full system build below so that you guys can compare and it might help you guys out a little bit. So first off, you're seeing on the screen all this uh, infinite loop of, uh, of recording. So. Mind you, I already have all this set up, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to delete cache and restart. Scary, I know, because I spent forever doing it. Um, I do have some printouts, that way I can enter it all in, but regardless, you know, I'm going to show you guys. So, with Streamlabs open, I'm going to go ahead and you can log in to all your accounts and all that good stuff, but I don't want my previous to come back in and you guys not know exactly what's going on so I'm gonna start from scratch so I'm gonna click set up later and then I click start fresh alright so we're in a fresh stream so I'm gonna go ahead just close this out first off I'm gonna click plus under sources and then we're gonna go ahead and click display capture and then click add source you can name it if you want to name it anything add new source okay and then right now and so this is the part that's gonna be a little bit funky so aside from me setting it up when I'm done I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect it and I have a hardware capture card connected right now so that's why you can see everything even though I'm not recording then I'm gonna disconnect it shut down Streamlabs connect my monitors and then restart Streamlabs so that it gets the right monitor okay so then I'm gonna click select your monitor here and then click done so then click plus again for me I have a webcam then I'm gonna select video capture device and click add source again name it whatever you want and then click add new source so here we can see it's adding my camera but because I have vcam I cl click on the drop down here and I select XSplit vcam so that way it gets rid of my background and all that other stuff and click done I'm gonna go ahead just position this down here alright so we're good there so now I'm gonna click on the little gear up here then here's the fun part okay so now I click again here under stream you set up all your streaming stuff but we're going to focus on recording right now desktop recording and then click output I'm gonna go ahead and select advanced I'm going to switch the encoder from software to hardware NVENC new. Leave it under CBR for the ray control. And I'm going to uncheck enforce streaming service encoder settings. I'm going to leave the ray control to CBR. Then I'm going to change the bit rate to 6000. I know I'm changing streaming, but I'm just going down my list. Keyframe, I'm going to change it to 2. Okay. Preset, I'm going to set that to performance. And then just scroll down here. I'm going to leave Psycho Visual Tuning on. Then if you have another GPU, select that GPU. You're probably going to want to select that GPU here. But I'll leave that here on 0. Max B frame, put that to 2 if it's not already. I'm going to leave Recording Standard for Type. Scroll down. Personal Preference. But I'm going to uh, select MP4. Recording, I'm going to select hardware NVENC new then I'm gonna set this same stuff like I said before preset to performance okay make sure look ahead is disabled alright so we're set here 
Now we go to audio. Now this is set to default right now because it's using my default that I've set within Windows. But if you wanted to, you can click here, select whatever you're using for uh, your headphones or speakers or whatever. Select that and then you can leave audio device 2 disabled. Mic auxiliary device, you're going to put your headphones, this right here, okay, and then, but again, I have that set to my default, so I'm just going to leave that default, let's see, video, okay, so because of my video card, I can actually change this, but you may want to change it on your own, depending, you know, if you have lower, if you have a TI, definitely set it to the way I set it, if you have below a TI, you may want to play with this a little bit. Output, I'm going to select that to 1920 by 1080 to be the same as my base canvas. Base canvas is your desktop, okay? I'm going to change the downscale filter from Bicubic down to Lanxos, sorry, to Lanxos. All right, that is actually based off of a recommendation from an NVIDIA video, FPS type. Now, my monitor, not this one, but the Viotech GN35DR does 144 hertz. So I'm going to change that from common to fractional FPS value. Then I'm going to change this FPS num to 144. And it takes a little bit. It's a little bit slow there for some reason. Okay, and that's good. And let's see anything under advanced. And under advanced process priority, I'm going to put up to high. And then you can just leave everything here. and click done. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead, unplug my capture card, replug in all my monitors. Actually, yeah, and I already clicked done. Then I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect my monitors, shut down Streamlabs OBS, and plug it back in, and start up Streamlabs OBS with my monitors plugged back in, and then we can start. So I'm gonna go ahead, turn this off real quick, and stop my hardware encoding. And then it's all going to be Streamlabs. So one sec. All right. Now that I have my monitors back in, we can see Streamlabs over here. We're back into Infinity. So what you're going to want to do here, because Streamlabs can actually mess you up too. You're going to right click over here on a empty part and click performance mode. Now what performance mode is going to do is going to totally disable that video stream right there. Okay, so what that does is that way you don't have the game playing and that screen just mirroring off of each other, that's gonna mess you up. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and start up Battlefield 5. Okay, now one thing I have done in this that I'm not too happy with is I actually had to disable DX12. DX12 was causing me a huge issue, okay? So that's another thing that's going to slow you down. Let me move the camera. Okay, now on the bottom left-hand corner of Streamlabs OBS, it shows your CPU usage, it shows your frames per second, and it shows drop frames. Whenever you see that come up with drop frames anything, you're going to have to stop your stream, restart it, because your stream is corrupt. I've never seen it recover from that. Okay, and now I'm going to show you more options and video. Okay, 1920 by 1080. The Viatech GN35DR does 2560 by 1080. Now, I can record at that, but you're going to see the bars and everything. I don't see the bars when I'm playing, but when I'm recording, because it is an odd format, you'll see the bars. Okay, so again, that's why I'm recording at 1920 by 1080. Everything set on here. I have motion blur motion blur disabled because it's gonna kind of look weird in a video okay and then advanced unfortunately dx12 is disabled everything else is set to ultra so we're good there all right so let's go ahead jump into a game real quick i'm going to play online because that's typically what you're going to be recording now i'm only going to play till i die maybe the first maybe the second time because I don't want to make it a stupid long video. But hopefully it won't be that bad. 
All right, guys, so I'm going to play a round or two of this, at least until I get killed. That way I can show you guys the performance of this. Ah, well, next time I should pay attention to where I'm running out in the middle of a field or before I get into a building, but that's okay. Bartolomelich. I hate C. Surefire way to get killed. I hate that you can't tag like you used to in Battlefield 4. Alright, so into the grave very early on. So just stay here too. No. I hate this, it's so cheesy, but Kind of just pinned here. Sorry, guys, I just can't. Sorry, Koyo. Oh. Ah. Well, anyway, you can see the performance works great. And, well, if you have any questions or comments or any advice, maybe I'm doing something wrong, comment below. And I just can't leave a game like this. What? I... 
It's like, well, at least it was an assist, so I did hit him. But anyway, um, go ahead and comment below what you think. As always, please do click like and subscribe. Helps me out a ton. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, tell me down below. In the description, again, you're going to find my hardware, my specs, and everything to compare with your own system. And uh, if you have any advice, anything I may be doing wrong, go ahead and uh, let me know down below. Iggy out. See you guys. Products in this video were provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone.